Hi everyone, this is Andy, 79Z28, also known as the Zinc Doctor, or Zinc Master, or Dr. Zinc. Anyway, Range Day Report Wednesday, my Dan Wesson, I put a new uh, red dot on it, the Romeo 5, so I had to sight it in. Okay, so this center... Let's see if I can get this right on the camera. This is the first shots over here. Moved up and over to the right a bit. This is another whatever five or ten shots. These are semi. These are full wad cut. Is only like two point six grains of uh, a bullseye. Okay, so we got it. We got that shooting. We're, right but i wanted to move it over because i like shooting a little high end right so i got that so i said okay let's go for it this is 20 rounds of down here 20 rounds of a uh, semi watt cutter uh, so i'm i'm quite happy with that okay so then after shooting the hell out of that i moved it up here and let's see if we get that in there and this is uh, 10 rounds in here of the semi-watt cutter. I mean, full watt cutter. Okay, next, I went down here. This is now 170 grain lead bullet casted in zinc. It's like 103 grains. I forget the number. 105 grains, something like that. All right, and this is, I don't remember what powder. I tried a lot of different powders this day. Anyway, this was the first shootings with the zinc so it shot lower okay a much higher velocity because of the weight of the bullet so we brought it over here let's see get this in the video it's always a pain in the neck this was just playing playing with the sight getting it where i wanted okay this is the second set there's like 25 rounds in here <laughs> okay uh, aiming at the black dot in the center. Yes, I aim at that dot. It's a half-inch dot. Now, this is all at, like, uh, 25 feet. All right? So, after everything was sighted and whatnot, the way I finally were, I got it to shoot. This is another... This is 25 rounds in that target of that 170-grain uh, wad cutter, 103, grains in zinc. Okay, so I was really happy. Okay. Uh, okay, no, that's... Okay, That we're good. Uh, this is my... I haven't shot this gun in 20 years. Well, maybe 15 years. This is my Ham, my Hamily 22. Uh, this is where I, I started. I was all over. I tightened my grip up a little bit. I was up here, uh, then I kind of re re relaxed into it more, and so this is my group, okay, also only at 25, uh, 25 feet. Uh, but I'm missing something here. I did something wrong. Oh, okay. Sorry. I did do something wrong. This here was testing. The sight's been adjusted now. This is testing... Uh, Three three fifty seven full blown uh, loads. This is uh, seven point eight grains of unique at again only twenty five feet uh, with that same hundred seventy grain uh, in zinc one hundred three hundred four grains. All right, and so this is like fifteen rounds in here. So it's shooting a little low, and of course it's a very hot load. So we we tweaked the sight. The first ones were down here. And we tweaked the slide up. We just brought it up a little because I don't want to change my aim point too much because I won't be shooting 357 hot loads all the time. So that was my range day Wednesday for my pistol. Now I'm missing a piece of paper. Where did I put the other piece of paper? Uh, oh. Okay. Sorry about that. Now... This piece of paper, these two here, 
Okay, the dots shot out. The dots, like, let's see if I can get this in the picture better. This one here, these, this is 50 yards with my 300 blackout, the bolt action. Very low powder, like 7 grains, 6.8 grains of, of my Winchester powder that I use. Uh, and that's uh, 10 rounds in there, and this is like 20 rounds in here. Okay, so that's at 50 yards. I'm very happy with those results. Now over here, we'll fold the paper. Again, not very happy with my Ruger, uh, the PC-9. Uh, I'm trying to get this in the camera better so you can see everything. Always hard to get things in the camera the way you want them. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, at 50 yards, my... Oh, boy, the lighting is so bad. At 50 yards, uh, my pattern is, is big. I'm still not happy with the, the rifle after coming back. And the worst part about this is, this is factory ammo. All right? I bought, uh, I, there was a, I walked into the local gun store, blah, blah, blah. He had a stack. He says, you know, uh, discounted price. So I bought a box of Winchester white white box, 9 millimeter, 124 grain, whatever exactly it was, 124, 125. And that was shooting out of the gun. And I can't get the light right down here. All right, and you can see the pattern is quite wide. Now I was going to switch to my reloads now. And while I'm shooting at this target down here, uh, I get a squib. And this is factory ammo. So I take apart the gun. It's, you know, the Ruger PC comes apart. And I brought it down to the range officer's range officer. Uh, he had a rod. We popped it out. Okay. Okay, went back. I took a, one or two shots with my zinc. It worked okay. Those were actually these two. Yeah, it's so hard to see, but there's two holes here. I got to get better set up for doing targets. Uh... Then I put back in the Winchester white box, pulled the trigger, another squib. I was like, now I'm pissed off. So we pop that one out. I go back down to my bench. The very next bullet, another squib. Three squibs in a row out of a box of Winchester white box. All right. So I was fit to be tied. I packed up. I went home. I took apart the rest of the bulls, there's maybe 20 left or so, and I found three more with no powder in it. Guys, beware. There's a real problem out there. So that kind of ruined my day. So now the bottom line is my Ruger PC. I'm going to have to rework my loads uh, and see what happens because uh, accuracy isn't there. So now i got to find the accuracy note in the way I load it. All right. We... Don't want to make this video any longer than I have to. It's already uh, eight minutes long. So everybody have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment. Anything you want. Be glad to answer you. This is Andy, 39Z28, signing out.